In today's video, I have built my homemade dream goal. As you can see, it's probably blurred right now because we don't want to spoil it. But as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe before the video ends. So I was randomly playing soccer one day and then it hit me. Wait, I need to buy some products. So I quickly searched as fast as I could on Google the nearest net to me. And once we got that, I remembered, wait, we need to get some wood. But then I remembered, wait, we got a bunch of wood in our backyard. Let's go. And then the process begun. Okay, so on day one, we started by disassembling the goal. So first of all, we just took the net down. Now some parts of the net we had to cut with a pair of scissors because the old strings that we had connected were just so worn out, we couldn't take it loose. And then after that, we took all the nets down because there were of course more than one and we just started placing them aside. And then after that, we just started clearing around, taking out some poles and trying to make it look a bit more neat. As you can see, there's a big indent here. It's pretty deep from all the logs and everything, as you can tell. So we just got to move the logs and everything and then we're replacing the crossbar. Here's all the nets and then this my mom might use or we might chuck away because this is all torn and everything from the grass. So then all we did for the rest of the day was take down the crossbar and dismantle it. So on day two we never managed to do too much however my mom did manage to clean up the grass and make it look a lot more neat. So on day three is when things started getting really exciting. Now unfortunately some of the clips didn't show so we're gonna miss some of the events leading up to it. But as you can see we've already made a huge, huge difference. It's a lot bigger, a lot taller. It's gonna be a lot more sturdy as you can see. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna to say goodbye to my brother's basketball thing. So we're gonna to have to take this off and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it so it'll be flush with that one over there. Okay, this will be the brackets, so we've got to cut it with the grinder and then we've got to pre-drill holes so that that'll go on the post and for the top main crossbar. So there we've started pre-drilling there and we'll cut off we drill, we'll cut with the grinder. We'll start with a small drill bit, going to a bigger drill bit eventually for this nice patch juice, nice and strong to hold it. Ali with his helper clearing behind the golf post. Now my mom and I are busy putting up the crossbar. We've got my brother behind as cameraman. Now this did take a while because we had to get a flush and it was quite difficult getting up there just with two people. My brother had to help at times, but we got the job done. And let's just say the outcome was really, really good. Okay, so what I'm about to show you is the final product. Are you guys ready? Here we go, three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, so guys, as you can see, due to poor, poor, poor video capture quality and the files are working, you, I couldn't show you everything. As you can see, the net, I never show you put on the net, but it is what it is. But let me show you guys something that's happened. So we put this up, so it comes up at like an angle, which is actually really, really cool. So it gives that top corner effect. If you do hit a clean top corner going all the way down, we've got support everywhere. This thing is freaking, freaking sturdy. And then as you can see over here with the net, all we've done is we've cable tied these nets together so no matter what the ball ain't getting through finally and the net is actually really really wonderful and I'm looking forward to making so much more videos with this I hope you guys enjoyed today's video hopefully I'm back post some more videos we just have to see how time goes but before the video ends I think this is a you gotta like and subscribe right now